Well, hello, cyber students. Hello from my office here in uh, West Virginia. This is Mark Negrini, your uh, host this afternoon. <laughs> We're going to do case one, and uh, this is your guidance. So, we have the opening blurb. Create a database named case one, and we're in access. So here we go. It's going to be something like this. Your, your screens might differ slightly. Blank database. Case one. And let me put it. Right here. So there we go. And I will do create. And now um, part one is done. And all I'm going to expect from you. Oops. Here we go. Uh, for this, simply type a short sentence database created. So what you are going to send me is something uh, with nice headings. We'll do this one. Case one database created and that's pretty much all we need for there uh, part two let's see what this says uh, import the paid software uh, software payments data and uh, I tell you where the file is um, screenshot of the first 10 rows so we're gonna go back to access here and it is external data it is new data source it's an excel file and i'm going to find it you will find it where you have it because you would have downloaded it and here we go paid software payments we'll do open um this is good first row contains column headings we're good there um, I don't need to do anything. I might as well change this to currency. Uh, we'll do next. <laughs> Primary key, next. And um, um, here we go. I didn't tell you what to import it to, so uh, that name is pretty much good enough there. Oh, name your table payments. So I do. Payments finish. I really never start save these import steps. And now I can actually close table one and here is payments. I give it a little left double click and I have it over there. Screenshot of the first 10 rows. So I'm going to use the snipping tool and we'll go snipping tool new and first 10 rows up to there we'll do edit copy and by doing this control v is paste um to here three is coming up next and by doing this you told me that you've actually done this so number three to view all the payments for 1,000 and higher. So we are going to do create. I usually use query design. What am I going to query? I'm going to query the table payments. I will add that. I'm not going to close. You can query um, many things, including uh, actually query two tables at the same time. Now. Um, which fields do we want? We actually want ID, division, expense type, date amount, vendor. And we want all those cases for payments 1 million and higher. So this is amount criteria is greater than or equal to 1 million one and six zeros i need to run this query and i need to run it with that exclamation point over there run and now i have uh, my answer for number three 
<clears throat> I'm going to send this uh, with the snipping tool as well. <clears throat> it's a new snip. I'm just going to get a little horse here. It's a new snip and it is that. Edit, copy, back to my Word document. Control V, much better than uh, paste. And here we go for show the results as a table in Word. I'm going to go back to access here. And now I'm going to keep this open and we will go external data. It's export now. Export to Word. It can go there, which is the same folder as the data. And we'll open the file when we're finished. And we'll do this. Here we go. This is indeed my table in Word. I'm going to go copy back to Word. And I want that Word. I want this Word. My Word. Control V, paste. Number five. Screenshot of all your access objects. We have to do a little save here first. I'm going to go, we need to save this query. Um, right click, save, and queries in access we like to save with QRY. I'm calling this high values. We'll do OK. It's over there. I'm going to close and I'm going to close and I have uh, one table, one query and screenshot of your objects. I'll head, I'll even do this just like the blurred clue. We'll go here. It is new. Edit copy. I don't think it'll fit on this page. It's down there. Life is fine. You can tidy it up a little bit if you like. Make sure that we get the number and the screenshot on the same page. I'm just going to save this quickly here. Total and average. Back to access. I don't need to call up payments here. I can just go create query design. What do I want to query? The table called payments. I could query that, but the table called payments and I want amount, amount, and I want to get the average and the total. I need to go up here. Greek Sigma sign, a little click. I get the extra row and we're going to go total, which is some average. And now I'm going to stay here in properties and I'm going to format this as currency two decimal places, because that is what you see is the example on the bottom of the page. Currency two decimal places and I'm going to close this and you know we can go through a long procedure the easiest thing to do now is to run it up there and now I'm going to go external data word send it to its own word file we'll replace it no we won't we can just go query two here and we'll tell it to open. We'll do that. And now it's a bit crunched here, a little crunchy. And that's even more crunchy now. And what we're going to do is I will simply copy this and I will simply paste this here. But what you need to do is you need to turn this into the neat uh, A and B that you see at the bottom of the page. Now, a little bit of network traffic, you have a blurb at the top, and extremely high volumes of traffic could be signs of a cyber attack. 
Uh, I'm going to go back to access. I'll close. I will save this as query and we can call this statistics. We'll do OK. I'm going to close this and I will do file close. Okay, file part seven. Create a database, blank database. We are going to call it network traffic. We'll do more about network traffic. This is just sort of an opening statement. See, this is where you are. You need to put it um, where your data is. Create. With access, I really need to create this database before anything else starts happening. That is step number one. Need to do it. Always step number one. Uh, open access, import the data, external data, import and link. It is from a file. It is from an Excel file. And we'll go network traffic data. This is good. First row contained column headings. We're good. Uh, date, da, 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 da. date with time. We'll take the primary key, import to table network traffic. Finish. I can open this and close that. And the first 15 rows, I'm going to let you count up to 15. Oops, new snip. I'm going to let you count up to snip 15. I'll just do that. You can see I don't have 15. Edit, copy, back to Word. Don't mean to make you dizzy. Here we go. Control V. And that's seven. We're moving along. We just have uh, two more. And then we're on a roll here. Number of connections per day. Sort the data ascending first 10 rows. Uh, ascending by date. So we go back here. That can stay open. Uh, create query design. I really only have one thing to query here, which is network traffic. But uh, in bigger situations, I need to choose what I want to query. And here we're going to go. I'm going to go date and connections. And I want to group by date and sum the connections. But I need this extra row to magically appear. And there we go. A little click. And that makes you a little bit of a magician here. It is guessing group by, and it's correct there. But what I want here is sum. Group by and sum. Now, um, you see at the bottom it says, give the two numbers. Um, screenshot of the first 10 rows of, here we go. So I'm going to just run this and date, group by date, and we're going to do this sort ascending. It might sort it automatically ascending if I don't do it. Here it is. Date, sum of connections, connect, sum of connections, um, first 10 rows, new snip. That's not 10. You count up to 10 and give me the correct um, screenshot. And there we go. We can make this a little t uh, tidier if you like. Um, I can do this. I can do format picture. And we, oops, 
size and position, we can drop it just a little bit. Not so small that I need a telescope. Okay, we'll drop this one here. Let's try 90. 90 seems to be working. And we'll do here. And now I have everything looking quite neat. A little straggler at the bottom here. You can make put everything nice. You can even put page numbers if you like. Insert page numbers. I like bottom of the page in the middle. Um, and we have to get out of this here. Okay. And of course, I'm not sure why I did this, but we will get about there. View, um, read mode, view, edit document. And there we just wasted half a minute. Number nine. Um, total in the average. We're just warming up. There'll be more to come. I'm going to save this. Query. We'll come back to this file again. We might come back for the capstone project. Uh, we'll close this. And now we'll do a new query. Create. Query design. Bring it up. And what I want to do is I want to take connections, plop it there, plop it there. The plop it there is not really a highly technical term. We want the total and the average. I need that extra row up there, a little left click. Sum. And I really do want this formatted the way it says. See, there's no dollar sign there. So we're going to go here and we are going to do properties. And this format looks to me suspiciously like it's standard with two decimal places. You need to format it before you run your query. Properties, format, standard, decimal places, two. Close this. Get the cursor there. Up here, run. And I've got it in that same format. And now I need to get it into Word. And you know, the easiest is almost to go external data, Word. And I already have a query one. So we don't any error message. And we'll tell it to open. There we go. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy. Go back to my case and control V. And now you need to get from here to that neat little format that uh, you see because that's the way I want it. A, give me the number. B, give me the number. And then of course you need to get rid of that. And, uh, oops. Anyway, A, B, put in the numbers. And then what you need to do is you need to submit this to me in eCampus. And the way you do that is, let's go here, let's go here. I had it somewhere here. Submit an eCampus. This is sort of an example. Assignment information, blah, blah, blah. This probably says points possible, um, case one. Text submission, attach files, browse my computer. And what you need to do is you need to browse your computer and send me. So you'll click this. You will then aim for, I'm just going to save here. And I'm going to close, file, close. You are then going to aim on your computer for wherever you've put it. And here we go, cases. Um, and of course, I can't remember where I put it. I probably put it over here. Um, of course, I can find out where I put it by just going back. And we'll do file, open. There we go. File, 
properties and it is in my 582 cases folder and it is called Negrini underscore case one so what I will do is I will aim for cases Negrini underscore case one you can see it's March 5th 2020 and you will attach this over there and you'd be good 20 and a half minutes from me to you for this week I look forward to our course and I look forward to uh, hearing from you and uh, for now it's bye bye <laughs>